can see it right in the center of your screen there. Uh, the International Space Station itself, currently about 250 statute miles over the Earth's surface. HTV uh, on its way. But the team's continuing to uh, keep an eye on everything. We're under five minutes now at about 42 meters away. The station on two for quarter monitoring. We're listening on two, Chell. HTV reflecting the last bits of uh, sunlight as the sun sets uh, on the station, HTV and the Expedition 44 crew. Currently at that 30 meter hold point, uh, should be departing in just about 13 minutes or so. Station Houston on two for HTV. We're expecting that the sunrise will happen about the 90 seconds after the HTV arrives at the capture point. And HTV well within the sights now of the station's robotic arm. This camera looking right down the barrel uh, at the unmanned cargo craft, just about a little over four minutes and 10 seconds away from arrival at that capture point. Shell FRGF SEP is enabled. Please prepare for capture per step 11 in 1 decimal 102. Lead HTV Flight Director Royce Renfrew getting a final go no go from all of the teams down here on the ground and at the HTV Flight Control Center uh, out in Scuba, Japan. Three meters in closing. Two meters in closing. Kamiya we at the robotic controls. Just about grappled with HDV-5. One meter. Man. Capture confirmed 528 a.m. Central Time, 628 Eastern, as the uh, station flying just about 250 statute miles to the south of Brazil over South America. So HTV-5 now in the hands of Expedition 44, grappled to that robotic arm delivering over four and a half tons of supplies to the International Space Station. HTV-5 sits poised just a few feet away from its uh, final berthing port. Uh, having completed uh, just a little over five days. It's actually been five days and 12 minutes since HTV-5 launched from the Tanagashima Space Center in Japan. HTV-5 continuing to close in inch by inch now. Uh, very slow and methodical movement of the space station's robotic arm, Canada Arm-2, uh, to which the several-ton spacecraft is currently grappled. At the end of this maneuver, it'll only be two feet away from that berthing port. And again, it'll pause there for a little while until everyone's in place. So again, HTV-5 going to hold here for a little while until I uh, crew member Scott Kelly, the NASA astronaut currently timelined to be the one to assist uh, for the actual berthing of the vehicle. Houston, here comes uh, step six, A bolts. Copy, Scott, we're ready. And so just hearing the bolts are in place, second stage capture is confirmed, 9.02 a.m. Central Time this morning. HTV-5 now attached to the International Space Station, delivering more than four and a half tons of cargo for the Expedition 44 crew to begin unloading within the days to come. But again, with that, uh, HTV-5 attached, 
following a uh, flawless flight to orbit and a uh, flawless final stages uh, completed earlier this morning as it uh, approached and was grappled with the uh, International Space Station's Canada Arm 2 robotic arm by Kamiya Yui, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. Robotics life controllers uh, here on the ground maneuvering into place at now attached. The bolts driven by Scott Kelly on board and HTV-5 delivered now to the International Space Station.